I want you to think about these numbers. One out of every five people in this country suffers from some type of mental illness. For many, it goes misdiagnosed or undiagnosed. Keith O'Neill is a former NFL linebacker, played with the Cowboys, the Colts, and the Giants. He's joining me now because he thinks his bigger purpose in life is to really spread the message of awareness about mental illness. You're here this weekend to talk at a gala and to spread the word. You were diagnosed as being bipolar many, many years after you left the NFL. Um, talk to us about the impact of that, the diagnosis itself. It was really hard. It came during a really difficult time in my life. I was uh, I was very manic, um, and then I went into a very deep depression, and um, it was very tough to be diagnosed and be given a label and have to live with something like bipolar disorder and know it. People are talking more about it these days. I know you get out and speak about it, but do you think there's still a stigma there that keeps people from seeking help? Unfortunately, yes, I do. Um, I've seen it firsthand. Now that I'm spreading awareness and going out and speaking out in public, there's a lot of people that will come up to me and be very hesitant about speaking about their troubles and their family members' troubles. So unfortunately, I think today in 2014, there still is a stigma that surrounds mental illness. Now, what's your message to people? Because your life changed once you acknowledged it, you could get help for it, you felt better. I mean, what do you say to people to encourage them if they feel like something is wrong to get help? I use it my experience and the thing that helped me, one of the things besides medication is talk therapy. And I, I ask them if they have a therapist or a psychologist and if they don't, I, I urge them to go see one to at least talk and get it off their chest. Yeah. Because you said to me, I know earlier, that there were parts of you that people just accepted, well that's key. But, right. but that wasn't the healthiest way at that point. No, I mean, growing up and with my moods and with my anxiety and my personality, a lot of people just thought it was just who I was, when actually there was a, an illness tagged to that. Mm -hmm. And now I am doing much better and I am uh, getting better every day. Wonderful. Keith, we want to thank you for dropping by. I want to welcome you to Charlotte. He will be speaking at the National Alliance on Mentally Ill, the Charlotte chapters, having a gala on Sunday. We have linked to their website on ours at WCNC.com. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks.